this. You might be thinking, I don't want to go back in the office. And you might be thinking, I wish there was another way. Well, we have another way. And we have some Tupperware uh, directors that are making full-time money uh, doing Tupperware. And you might think, I'd love to have something else. And this might be it. Or you might be thinking, I wish I had a little something extra. And this might be it. And so either way, if you're thinking, I'd like to have some new recipe ideas, or I might like to have a hobby or a little extra money or a new career, we're gonna give you that option as well. So I'd like to turn it over right away to Jenny, um, one of our directors. And so she can share with you, if you're thinking you'd like to have more than just recipes tonight, we're gonna give you another option. And so let's take it over to Jenny. Hey everybody, um, my name is Jenny Cheatham and I have been with Tupperware and Champion for just about eight years now. Um, one of my favorite parts of Tupperware, besides the people and besides the fun and besides the products and besides the extra money that you can earn, is the kit. Um, this is our kit. We have two options for you. This is my favorite one. It is all of these products right here, not these right here, that's a whole other thing, but all of these products right here, you get, and these are some of our very favorite and best selling products, okay? Um, when I signed up, I did not sign up to sell Tupperware. I did not do parties. I didn't have parties. You know, I was that person where you'd invite me to a party and I just didn't show up. Um, but I wanted in the kit, what was comparable to this. This is like the new and improved version and it's the Power Chef. I wanted this and it was $69. And the girl that I talked to about buying this told me that I could get the whole kit for just a little bit more than that. And that's what you can do with this too. This is $69. This whole kit is just $40 more. And there's $365 worth of the best Tupperware products, the most popular Tupperware products in this kit. And you get it for that $109, no shipping, you have to pay tax. And with that, you get a free website that you can share with your friends, you can do parties, um, you can just order off yourself, but you get all of this, you get the free website, you get all of the perks that Tupperware is going to give you. We have programs uh, for when you start where you can earn more products all the way up to our full set of cookware. Um, Every month, there is something new that they come out with that you can earn or that people um, that you share this with can earn. And you also get a 25 to 35, sometimes even 55, 65% discount off of anything you buy for yourself. And you make that same 25% off of anything anybody buys off of your website or off of you. So this is my favorite option, okay? $109 for all of this. Now, we do have a second option because we like to have choices, right? The second option is $15, flat. $15 plus tax. And you still get the website. You still get the opportunity to be in the program where you can get the full set of cookware along with like seven other levels of things going up to the cookware. You get the, um, you get the 25% off. You can still share with your family and friends. You can have parties and make that 25%. You just don't get any product, okay? So you can do the $15 and just kind of dabble, kind of stick your toe in the water and see if that's what you want to do. Or you can do the entire serious kit and get all these products into your home. And you know what? Once you start using them, you're going to find out that you love them. And you're going to A, want more, and B, want to share with your family and friends. Because when we find something we like, that's what we do. We tell people about it. So that's what happens here. Now, um, we're going to have a do-it-yourself night, which is great. Uh, we're going to have some simple recipes, some simple solutions to doing the things that you like to do in your kitchen for your family. And we're going to start with um, one of my people that I have been in Tupperware with almost since the very beginning. I think she started right after I did. Uh, she's a star director and lots of fun. She's excited to share this with you. So Lori Morris, go ahead. And what are you doing tonight? Hey everybody. Thanks, Jenny. 
Yes, I am Lori, and I have been in Tupperware six years. I can't believe it's been six years, but um, I just love it. It has allowed me to um, retire from my full-time corporate job in January of 20, and I get to do this, which is meet new people, cook in my kitchen, and shower people with uh, free Tupperware. So I'm making a do-it-yourself um, cookie cake cookies okay so what's cool about this combination of recipes is that you can tailor make it any way that you want so it starts with a basic cake mix and i did um one batch prior to so i could show you but the first batch i just took a regular cake mix this is a devil's food um you can use devil's food you can use white you can use red velvet, yellow, um, mint, lemon, anything you want. You start with a basic cake mix and then you add different fixings to it. So <clears throat> um, you can add white chocolate chips, you can add um, chocolate chips, mint, sprinkles, M&Ms, all kinds of different things to it to change up the cookie. All right, so I'm gonna show you really quickly how I just mix this together this is a white cake mix. I'm partial to white and yellow. I'm not a huge um, chocolate fan. Of course, my family loves chocolate. Um, I like chocolate candy, chocolate cake. I'm kind of, mm. so um, I just have this in my fix and mix bowl. And to all these cake mixes, you just add a half a cup of vegetable oil, all right? And this is part of our micro pitcher set. Um, this is the one cup measurement. It also comes with a two cup and I use this every day. This is a staple in my kitchen, not just for baking because the baking that I'm doing right now, this is about the extent of my baking, okay? Um, but I use it to reheat anything, um, I, to reheat coffee. If I have a little bit of coffee, I put it in here because this is made for the microwave. It is this specially engineered product for our microwave. Um, but I'll melt butter, I'll melt chocolate. And the cool thing is you can take the one cup and turn it upside down on top of the two cup so it doesn't splatter, okay? So I added a half a cup of vegetable oil and then you just add two eggs. And it's as simple as that. I mean, I like simple, I don't like complicated. Um, when it comes to baking, cooking, I will look at recipes and do things that are a little bit more involved and a little more complicated. Um, so this is all you do for here. So I'm gonna mix it up and you'll see as I mix this, you know, a cake mix, I mean, a cookie batter mix is kind of, um, I don't wanna say runny, but not as shape forming where I can take it and shape it like into a ball which is what I did with the other, the chocolate, the devil's food, okay? Um, since you're only adding the vegetable oil and the eggs, it's super simple with ingredients. Um, you could maybe mix this up prior to and put it in an airtight Tupperware bowl and put it in your refrigerator. And maybe once the kids come home from school, um, you'll have it all ready and you can just whip it out and put it on your cookie sheet. Okay, so I mixed that up really quick and it's kind of like a cakey ball because it's cake mix. And I'm gonna add, um, I have a mixture, I don't know why I have a mixture of dark and milk chocolate chips. Um, this is in one of our modular mates, which I keep all of my baking products in, all of my snacks, all of my pantry items. Um, and I like the ovals because it, goes into deep covers and I can take a measuring cup, which is, a, this is a half a cup. So whatever, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, whatever add on or add in that you decide, it's a half a cup. So if it's a half a cup of M&Ms, half a cup of candy, mints, you could crush up mint candies. Um, I used white chocolate. This is one of our oval modular mates. I used white chocolate in the double food. And then I have a little bit of butterscotch, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of fold it in. And because you can kind of roll the balls, I, mean, I rolled the cookies with my hand, 
So I'm just going to kind of fold it in and then I'm going to put them on my cookie sheet. Now, the other thing that I can't live without, and I use it for roasting vegetables in the oven, um, is my um, silicone um, baking mat. Now you can see mine has been used. So I just put it on a cookie sheet and it's got the measurements. If you want to measure pies or whatever, like I said, I don't bake. I don't use these measurements on here, but if you're a baker, this is a really great thing to have. Um, but this makes it nonstick. So when I roast my vegetables in the oven, um, I'll put balsamic glaze on my veggies and they don't stick and they don't make a mess. Okay. So the silicone baking mat, it's easy to just plop the cookies in. So like I said, you can make them pretty big because they really don't, I'll show you the finished product. They really don't expand tremendously. Not like a cookie, regular cookie gets kind of flat and flattens out and spreads. Um, I found with these, they don't. They kind of keep their shape, okay? So I'm not gonna bore you with, there you go. You roll it up and you put it on the pan and 350 degrees for 12 minutes. Somewhere started at 10 and then go to 12, okay? But I'm gonna show you the finished product with the one, the star microfiber towel. I'm gonna show you the finished one. When you take them out of the oven, use your spatula um, and you need a mitt. So if our, our silicone mitts ever come back, you need these. I don't use anything else in my oven, it's wonderful. But you take them out and you put them on a baking rack. Okay, so look at how fluffy and nice and like gooey these are, okay? Because it's cake, it's got like a cake-like texture, okay? And then I store them, this is one of our modular bowls. So once they cool, you know, I'll take these. And then when my family knows that they're here, they're going to eat them all up. But it's a simple recipe to do the do-it-yourself, change it up. You know, simple ingredients, no matter how old your kids are. I'll have to eat this one since I broke it. Um, no matter how young your kids are, they can do this, okay? And one batch makes two trays full. So 18 cookies, roughly, at least the size that I do it, okay? So I'll post pictures with the recipe um in on the studio page or on the champion page or people will share it if you're watching from a party or a group welcome someone will share it but that is your cake cookies super simple super fun and you can do it yourself any way you want to do it all right so that is it for me and i'm now going to flip it over to my girlfriend um who i've known the whole six years that i've been in tupperware i believe she's been in maybe eight nine ten years um she's star director uh she does farm to table um she's a country girl at heart so she loves to cook with veggies and mushrooms and all kinds of really interesting crazy things um, and I think she's going to show us the spiralizer. So uh, welcome, Angela Rorba, to our cooking show. So take it away, Angela. Thanks, Lori. Hi, everyone. I am Angela Rorba. I, um, Lori kind of said a little bit about, I've actually been on top of where I can't even remember. Um, I think I started in 2010, um, but I, really just went to a Tupperware bingo and I was never really going to sell Tupperware. And I knew that the best deal of the night was actually to purchase that kit because you get so many things. And I just love the product. And I remember it from when I was young, from when my grandma and my mother had always had Tupperware. And I was just one of those people that, oh my goodness, I have to have that. One of the fun things um, that I, the first things that I bought was the Shapo toy. Do you guys remember the Shapo toy? Ah, I had to have it for my kids. And um, as time went on, I was able to earn free products and um, I would do a party and I would realize, oh my goodness. And I came home with a hundred dollars, $200 every time I would do a party. And now years later, all of that is transformed into online. We also have that online option. So I have the ability to be right here in my home with my three kids and um, run a Tupperware party all online through Facebook and each night go live. And I'm 
lucky enough to be able to be able to show them the things in my kitchen because as a Tupperware consultant, you get a discount or earn all of these products for free and, um, or at a super discount. And it's just really nice to have all those things here that I get to use and play with all the time in my kitchen and um, share those things with other people. So before I get into showing you guys the spiralizer, if you are a guest with us, I just want you to go ahead and put that in the comments down below so you can get in a drawing at the end of the event. And also, if you are a hostess with us, please put that down in the comments as well um, so we can get you in the hostess drawing for the end of the night. All right, so um, one of my favorite thing, well, everything's my favorite, but this is really one of my favorite things is um, it's like, getting close to harvest season and there's a ton of zucchinis there's a ton of cucumbers so my little skit is called zooks and cukes yeah you can make anything up as a Tupperware lady because it's your own business and you can do whatever you want so I can be silly and call it zooks and cukes so there's a ton of zucchinis and cucumbers out there right now whether you have your own garden or you have a farmer's market that you go to on the weekend um, it's just a very super plentiful, um, full of all kinds of different vegetables and things. Um, and it's always better to um, eat fresh. And I have to show you guys this. I'm not going to use this, but you could put this to the spiralizer too. But look at this carrot. Ah, I just picked this up at the, um, the vegetable stand right up the road for me. But you can go and buy real, like just came out of the ground here right by my house, um, carrots. And they're really super good and delicious. They have a little bit stronger of a carrot taste and they're great. I had to show you guys that really quick. But we have, um, you know, the yellow, the yellow squash that you can run through the um, spiralizer and potatoes. And today I have a little bit of a zucchini that I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of things. And I'm gonna put a potato through there also. So this is our spiralizer. It's really super nice because it all comes apart. And all of this stuff is just really easy to wash, really easy to, um, some of the pieces are able to even just go right in the dishwasher. Um, so they, it all comes in separate pieces. So this is our base, and this is the base that goes to our Fusion Master, which is our meat grinder. Um, it has the attachment for the spiralizer. And we also have another attachment that is our master shredder system, which I'll show you guys that here in a few minutes also. I know one of the other girls is gonna show you actually, we're gonna, she's gonna grade up some things to show you as well. So this is the base and you only buy one base and then you buy the different accessories to go on the top. So right now we are going to show you the spiralizer. Now this is absolutely the best top of the line um, spiralizer that you can get. And it's backed up by that Tupperware name. So you don't have to worry about getting something junky from the store and it not really doing a great job because you know that Tupperware is a great product and it does, um, it is backed up by that guarantee as well. So we're gonna put this on the, on the counter and then there's a little piece right here. You just twist it and it locks it to the counter. So you can literally not move it around until you unlock that there. It suctions to the counter, okay? And then you have the piece right here that just goes inside of there and we have the handle. The handle goes right here on the end and you twist and it connects it right there, okay? Now you have three different attachments that go in the front here. Three different um, style cuts. And the first one is our ribbon cut which is really, really awesome. And I'm gonna show you guys how a potato goes because I can't talk about the spiralizer without showing you guys how awesome a potato is using this one. Okay, and they all snap together too. So for easy storage. All right, so that's the ribbon cut. We have um, the spiralizer and this, or the, um, a little bit thicker. So if you're gonna make, zucchini noodles or anything like that. It's going to make it a little bit thicker. I also make french fries in here. Um, you can spiralize an onion, all kinds of different things. Um, and then this one is just a little bit thinner, but you can see right here, it's going to show you which, 
which is which, okay? So I'm just gonna put one of these on here really quick and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. It, there's two little legs and they go right down in the grooves right here. And then it pushes in and you hear a snap and it's ready, okay? So our zucchini, here's our zucchini. We're gonna put this right inside of here and you kind of smush it. So we're gonna hold it here and we're gonna take this and smush the end, okay? Then there's a little lever right here and this is unlock and you'll see the little squiggly line. This is spiralized. You wanna hold it in place right here and that's what that's gonna do, okay? Are you ready for this? It's so exciting. So um, those of us that are on a low carb diet, we have the easiest, freshest, most delicious way to make our zoodles. And there you go. Look how beautiful these zucchini noodles turn out. Do you know how expensive those are when you buy them in the store? We, um, with it being harvest season right now and all of these zucchinis that are plentiful, um, you can freeze these in our amazing freezer system. This is a permanent system that you have in your freezer. Um, all of these containers have a permanent station in there. Um, of course, you can put different things in there, but my freezer is completely full of all of these. I put everything from my chicken to um, frozen strawberries. I flash freeze the strawberries when it's time to pick the strawberries and we put them inside of here for smoothies. Uh, blueberries, the blueberries are ready right now too. And you can put your zucchini in there as well. Um, now, one of the really cool things to do um, besides just the zucchini is your yellow squash you could do um, a cucumber. So it is so cool to go to a potluck or to go to a picnic or cookout and take your zucchini. And we're just gonna do this again here. I'll show you guys how easy and fast it goes. You put your cucumber right inside of here and then lock and you give it a spin. And right here is your cucumber that is doing the same thing. And you can do an onion and that does the same thing as well. And then you can chop up those little cherry tomatoes and put it in there and toss that in our beautiful, clearly elegant that I have here. Um, we do have bowl sets that is with the clearly elegant, but this is um, one of my favorites. It's kind of more shallow. This is kind of like a serving tray and it's real nice and wide. So you can use this for um, a veggie salad or a zucchini salad or something like that to take to a party. But look at those uh, cucumbers. Isn't that beautiful? And then it does come with a super classy seal that goes right on top and um, it's black and clear. So very super classy. So you have to you want to add that to your order. Um, so there's all different kinds of things that you can do with this. I'm going to unlock it and pull that out of there. And now I'm just going to change this so I can show you that potato. So they come out really super easy. And then we're going to go ahead and put the ribbon one right inside of there. That comes out. This one goes in. And now this is one of my favorite things ever to do. Okay, this is just a wooden skewer stick. And right in the end of it, of all of these, there's a little hole right here. So in the ribbon part right here, we are going to put this right inside of that hole. All right. And then we're going to take our potato. You can get potatoes at the farmer's market too, just so you know. That's really cool to um, get those fresh potatoes. They're delicious too. So what this is going to do is when you turn it, it's going to wrap it right around that skewer. And you'll hear when it's done, you pull that back. And what it does is it spiralizes that right around that skewer. And you can place this over your um, Ultra Pro uh, 13 by nine pan and drizzle some oil and your spices or your fresh herbs. You can make a pesto and put it over top of that, pop that in the oven. Oh my goodness, it's a potato tornado. 
So absolutely delicious and so many different ideas and things that you can do um, with our spiralizer. Now we do have um, our master shredder, which um, one of our other directors are gonna talk about tonight too, but this is really nice as well. And this comes um, with two different cones. We have um, the more thick and we have the more thin and these are great for when um, you get really big monster zucchinis. And I have to show you this because it's really funny. Look how big this thing is. It's monstrous. See? <laughs> so um, sometimes if you don't get up to the garden to pick the zucchinis early, you end up with these big monster zucchinis. What am I going to do with that? It's huge. <laughs> we're going to cut it up and we are going to put it through that master shredder. And we're going to shred it up and we're going to make muffins. We're going to make zucchini cakes, zucchini brownies, all of those different fun things, tons of different recipes on Pinterest. But that is the way to go when you're making carrot cake in the spring master shredder. When you're making your fresh homemade meals and you want to use cheese, master shredder, because you don't want to stand there and do it by hand or that old metal one where you get your knuckles or your fingernails. Ew. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So I hope you guys learned something tonight and I hope you're excited to go to the farmer's market and eat fresh, right? <laughs> so up next we have Nancy Legan. She is one of my very favorites um demonstrators and she is going to do um pie pie crust so off to you nancy we just you're can't muted. Hear. you're muted yeah, yeah you're muted Nancy. oh there okay. you are am i back Yep, yep, I hear it now. Okay, I didn't see me up there, I wasn't sure. Okay, hi everybody, um, I'm Nancy Lagan and I have been in Tupperware for 28 years and I came in to talk to somebody over two feet tall because I really didn't need the money and I really didn't want a job, I just wanted some fun as an adult. So that's the reason I came into Tupperware. And so what I've learned over the years is so many recipes and I made great money, I drive a company car, um, all that great stuff, but the people in this business are what keep me going year after year after year. And I talk about retirement and then I think, oh my goodness, if I retire, who am I going to talk to? Okay, because all my friends are still um, working. And so it just keeps me going. But I love fun recipes and Tupperware makes fun. Their, their products make your life easier. You can do things faster and it's fun. So the kids are still home and my grandkids are here an awful lot. And so I love to do fun things with them. And as I did with my own kids when I was a lot younger. And so last week we made ice cream in a Ziploc bag. My granddaughter wanted to do it. It was, it was hilarious. Six minutes we had ice cream. It was really fun. Well, you know, I don't like to bake and I don't like to bake pies. I'm kind of like Laura. I love to cook, but I don't like to bake. However, this recipe from Tupperware to make a pie crust in our Vatsable. Now this is dating itself. This is probably 25 years old, this Vatsable, but Tupperware just doesn't wear out. Um, but the new Vatsable that you could purchase is like maroon. It's maroonish red, it's beautiful, but it does the same thing as my old bowl. So all you're gonna do to make this pie crust, okay? Um, and you make it in a bowl and the kids can help you because you dump everything in. So I already made it. So you don't watch me shake and shake and shake all night. Um, so I took two cups of flour and I took um, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I have all these things over here for you to show you what I use, the salt, the baking powder, um, six tablespoons of cold water and three quarters of a cup of shortening. Now, I a lot of you have probably don't buy Crisco, but what's so cute is my granddaughter called me um, I used to babysit every morning and she called me one day and she goes, grandma, can you bring your Crisco and come and make me French toast at 7 a.m.? So I brought my Crisco. It was hilarious because they, they know I cook my French toast and pancakes with Crisco and they don't burn and they just come out amazing. So uh, my grandma always made pie crust with Crisco, but if you don't like Crisco, you can use butter for the recipe and make a butter crust. But I did use Crisco, three quarters of a cup and two tablespoons of butter. Now you don't melt this, you put it in um, where it's, it's soft and so is the butter. So what you do is you just dump in the bowl 
Okay, and then you seal up the bowl. Now you can't do this in any other product because Tupperware is the only bowl that you can seal up, walk your hands all the way around and then burp it in the center. And now it's sealed. So you can turn it upside down and sideways and throw it across the room and it's not gonna leak, nothing's gonna fall out. And then you just shake it and you just shake it, shake it, shake it. So you can have all the kids throw it around the room, play catch with it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And what happens, and this took about 10 minutes, okay? Um, 10 minutes to make this. And inside is your pie crust and your pie crust will um, form a ball just like you would if you made it in a food processor or anything else. Now, I don't wanna bake a pie tonight, okay? Cause I don't really like pie. I mean, I like pie, I just don't wanna bake it. So I have something you can do with this pie crust with the grandkids or for the grandkids or for you because it's something my grandma always did with the extra dough. So you just put it on a floured, um, well, I have a Tupperware pastry mat, which they ha don't have right now, but um, you put some flour on there and then I flour up my, this is an old, 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 okay, rolling pin. And you're gonna roll this out. Now this thing, wait a minute, I have to put this up here so it holds it because this doesn't stick to the counter anymore because it's probably 40 years old, okay? And so you do need a lot of um, flour when you do this, but I'm gonna roll this out and I should have put it in the refrigerator a little longer so that it's not um, sticking to my rolling pin, okay? But you just roll it out kind of thin, all right? And then what I'm gonna do, now I'm not gonna stand here and do it all night, but I will do it, maybe come back and show you what it looks like. I've melted butter, of course, in our micro pitcher, and I melted butter, and I've made a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. So you roll this out and then you brush butter all over the pie dough and you sprinkle lots of cinnamon and sugar. And if you wanna put nuts, you can put nuts and you sprinkle it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the pie dough up and then cut it in little pieces and bake it. They're absolutely delicious little cookie snacks made out of pie dough. And so if you were here, you could taste them, but you're not. So my husband's gonna to get to enjoy them tonight, but that's all you do. And you could make this pie dough and then freeze it and have the pie dough made so when you do want to bake a pie, it's all ready to go. So I hope you try it. We are going to post the recipe. Um, and it is a recipe that's been around for a long, long, long time. And it tastes absolutely delicious. So I hope you try it with the kids, the grandkids, or just yourself and make yourself a delicious pie. And if you make a great pie, invite me over because I love to eat them. I just don't like to make them. Have a great night. Hi everyone, so I'm Christy. Um, Nancy, you just brought me back to my childhood because my mom used to make those for me all the time when I was younger. I so forgot to excited. introduce you, Christy. That's and there's okay. my good friend, Christy, who helps me all the time in this business. I just introduced myself. <laughs> so I'm coming on today to show you a couple different things. Um, so I am using the shredder as well because I am going to do a white cheddar and mushroom stuffed hamburger. I already um, pre-minced my meat. I got a chuck roast and I put it in our mincer, which is also part of the master system that you can get. Um, and I pressed it into our hamburger presses. So I already prepped that. Um, but Angela told you about the cones that we have, um, both the large and the finely shredded um, cone. I'm going to use the finely um, one because I'm going to stuff the burger so I don't want the cheese to be real big and thick. So all I have here is just, I know it looks like butter, but it's actually a block of cheese, white cheddar cheese that I got from the store. Um, it's actual, actually crackle barrels kind. Um, it's so yummy. So I put it right in the top and as I'm pushing down the guard here, it actually is so easy. It just comes right out. And I don't know if all of you guys know, and I didn't know until starting with Pepperware, the things I've learned is that the bagged cheese that you get at the stores has all kind of fillers in them, um, like things like sawdust and stuff like that, that you're actually putting into your body and it's very unhealthy. So when you shred your own cheese, you can actually put it in the freezer mates, um, like Angela was talking about, with a little bit of um, cornstarch so it doesn't clump together. And you can use that um, and freeze it and reuse it whenever you want. So I just take a little bit 
of the cheese and put it in the middle of each burger. And then I'm going to grab my mushrooms out of my fridge smart. Now, these, this is why I signed up for Tupperware, actually. I didn't even know Tupperware was a thing two years ago. And one of my friends had a virtual party and I fell in love with these things. And I'm like, I have five kids and I throw out so much produce and waste so much money that I need something that's gonna save us some money. So I got this and these um, mushrooms have been in here for almost three weeks now, guys. And they're just like, they came out of the store. So I'm gonna put a couple in my chopping prep. And I'm gonna dice them up real fine because again, when you're stuffing a burger yourself, you don't want to um, have stuff big and bulky. And it's really easy, it's just to pull the cord. There's three stainless steel blades in there and you can just dice them up nice and easy, okay? As you see. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle that right in the middle with the cheese. And then what I do is I just, kind of grab the meat and make it into a ball right around that mixture. And then I'm going to use our micro pro grill to grill it in the microwave. Now I am a nurse full time too. So I do this um, during I, while I have a full time job and I fell in love because it made my life so much easier with having a family of five and a husband um, that we cook for and everything like that. Um, when you're working a long day at work, the last thing you wanna do is come home and cook over a hot stove. So these products have literally given me more time back with my family um, and allowed me to cook healthy meals as well. So this is our micro pro grill. I'm just gonna wipe my hands off because they're a little slimy from the burgers. I put Worcestershire so so Shire sauce in, I can't say it. Um, it has two um, susceptors um, on the top and the bottom. I preheated it um, with a piece of bread for two minutes in the microwave before putting it um, in there. And I just put the burgers in there and I pushed down to the grill position. There's two different positions. If you turn it the one way, it'll actually leave an opening on the side of the grill um, that allows steam to come out. Or in the grill position, you put it flat down onto the meat. Okay, and I'm gonna do each side, I'm gonna do four minutes and I'm gonna flip it and do four minutes again. And on the inside, there's actually a little reservoir that's going to take all the grease and stuff from the burgers and get down in that reservoir so it, it makes it healthier when you eat it. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and, or in the microwave and I'll have two burgers just like they're off the grill in eight minutes. How fast is that? And that's it guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so what did you think, guys? Did you enjoy the cooking demonstration and all the wonderful recipe ideas? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I loved it. And I even knew some of those recipes. I, I really enjoyed listening to the directors. They're so good. And I enjoy hearing their ideas and their little extra touches. Um, so I hope you uh, enjoyed their, I, their stories as well. And so if you're listening tonight and you had some ahas, go ahead and put it in the little chat down there. We love to hear your ahas. And we wanna see um, who all of our guests are. So Jessica, how many guests did we have on tonight? Hi everyone, hi Pam. We hey. have 16. 15 guests, awesome. 16. How many? 16. 16 guests, okay. <laughs> All right, so um, Siri, hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a random number between one and 16. A random number between one and 16 is one. Oh, one, <laughs> who is our guest one? Let me find, it's Kayla Biggs with Vicki tonight. Okay, Kayla Biggs, uh, congratulations. You're our guest winner on our random drawing. Welcome tonight on uh, the uh, event. And we're going to send you some free Tupperware. And so make sure you get um, your address to me through the girl that invited you. Um, she knows how to find me. On Facebook, it's Pamela Matheny Clift. And we'll make sure you get free Tupperware. Yay, all right. Now we're gonna do our host drawing. How many hosts do we have on tonight? Six tonight. Six, okay. Um, hey, Siri. Mm hmm Give me a random number between one and six. 
A random number between one and six is six. Six. Who is our lucky Sandy host? Sandy with Debbie Morris tonight. Congratulations. Sandy with Debbie Morris. Mm -hmm. All right, Sandy with Debbie Morris. You're the lucky host winner. Uh, so we're going to send you free Tupperware. Debbie Morris, you know how to find me. You can give me that address so we can send you out little extra Tupperware for our host drawing. And so you want to make sure that you are a host or a guest on our next cooking show. Uh, we have this every other week. And so we'll skip a week and have it. Um, and uh, so come back to us and be uh, a guest on our cooking show or a host on our cooking show. Host always win a little extra more um, and invite your friends to come on with us. Get a shopping link from your Tupperware lady so that you can um, have a shopping, shopping link with your guests that come on. And it's always loads of fun. And, you know, it's never boring. There's always fun recipes. And who doesn't like to have a shopping uh, cooking party with friends, right? In the privacy of your own home. So if you watch this tonight and you thought, wait a minute, this is too good to be true. This is really fun. You're right. It is really fun. And we do this every other week. And how, what, seriously, how easy can it be to uh, have a fun night like this and make money too? And so we'd love to invite you to join our team. So if you want to join our team, all you have to do is tag your Tupperware rep. Hey, I am interested in doing this. Sign me up. You can have the opportunity for $15 and just get the virtual kit, which is no product at all. Or you can choose that amazing kit, which is over $300 with the Tupperware for only 109 and get that opportunity, which is a really cool deal with the extra bonus that we have going on right now. So talk to your Tupperware rep, let her know that you're interested and you wanna get in on that deal. There are no strings attached. I just want to tell you right now, when I got into Tupperware, I really did think that there were going to be all these strings attached and, you know, I was going to have have to give up my firstborn, which I'm really glad I didn't because I like him. <laughs> but I really did think all those things. And, you know, I'd done other direct sales before and things didn't, you know, I thought it was really smoke and mirrors until I joined Tupperware and found out it's a cool company and it's great people and it's really legit. And my husband and I have had huge success and we put three kids through college and, you know, we've had wonderful success with traveling the world. And, you know, honestly, it's just been a lifestyle that I only dreamed of. And I'd love to help you uh, see the benefits of the Tupperware business as well. Uh, whether it's company cars you want or traveling, or if you want a, you know, a hobby and you just want to be able to take some of the pressure off of the family, whatever it is for you, that's what we want for you. We don't want pressure on you. We want the joy of the lifestyle you choose. And so I hope you saw that tonight in our chefs that you saw and witnessed and enjoyed. And I hope you know that it is um, as legit as you want it to be. And um, I hope you enjoyed it and you'd like to be part of our team because we are as, um, as true as you see. All right, thank you everybody. Have a great night. We'll see you another time in two weeks or join our team and join us tonight on our team page. All right, bye guys. See ya.